What is up guys? My name is Harry Rice and welcome back to the channel. Today is a brand new video for 25 Days of Harry and today we are going to be taking uh, a bit of a different uh, turn for today. Uh, you guys are going to be interrogating me. Uh, two videos in a row, most likely. I don't think this video is going to be short enough that I want to just put in the other half of the Q&A in here. But uh, as you guys just heard, I will be doing a Q&A, questions and answers um, video. Well, it will be two videos. Today we're going to be doing... Uh, my main Discord server for this channel, along with the comments from the YouTube video that I did. And then tomorrow we'll be taking a look at my SimLeague Discord and uh, all the questions that I got off of there. So, yeah, uh, I think this is going to be pretty fun. Let's just get right into it. We've got, I believe it's six uh, total comments from the YouTube and Discord, uh, three each. So we'll get into that. So, yeah. Uh, first one coming in here from, uh, Tristan. Well, this, uh, yeah, this is Tristan. Hi, Harry. It's Tristan. Hope you're doing well. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. Here's a question. Who is your favorite current NHL player and your favorite player from when you were, from when you were growing up? Why and what made them your favorite? Thanks. Have a wonderful and safe rest of your day. Thank you, Tristan. Uh, my current, uh, my current favorite NHL player, I think everybody knows this is Cole Caulfield. Absolutely Cole Caulfield. Nick Suzuki's up there. Arbor Jack guy's up there, definitely. Uh, favorite player from when I was growing up was definitely Armour Yager in his, his final, uh, I guess you could say final days as an NHL player. Uh, I really, really grew to respect Armour Yager. Went back, watched highlights, obviously. Found out about him. Found out stuff about him. Um, yeah, I, I would say probably favorite player growing up was Armour Yager. It's tough to say growing up because I was really only a hockey fan from like 2015, 2016 onwards. So, um... So yeah, I have like three or four videos on the channel about me growing up as a hockey fan, or me growing up, me getting into hockey, I should say. Um, so yeah, Yager, Yager was probably like my first real favorite player, but yeah, currently it's it's Caulfield. Uh, what made them, why and what made them your favorites? Caulfield, honestly, I love his goal scoring, just a really funny, happy dude off the ice. It looks like dude is not afraid to show his personality and show himself off at all not in the Matthews way obviously but a more of a Subban way without being a dick and uh yeah dude's just fucking cool dude short like me I think I'm an inch or two taller than Caulfield so that's pretty fun uh yeah love Caulfield and Yager obviously just just how awesome Yager Yager is if you don't know how uh, uh, uh. if you don't know how awesome Yager Yager is just look him up he's still playing to to support he, the team that he owns and trying to keep them on the ice and that's that's pretty that's pretty cool that he's that he's doing that for for himself and his team uh yeah just Yager is just an absolute goat one of the best players of all time top three in my opinion and uh Caulfield love him Suzuki obviously just a great two-way guy love his uh, playmaking love the chemistry him and Caulfield have together and Jack is just badass not afraid to go against anybody love him a lot and uh yeah, thank you, Tristan, for the comment. I appreciate it a lot. Uh, coming in from Cross Crease now, coming up with uh, sub hair, I have a few questions. Probably should have clarified this in the video. I think I might have, um, but you guys could have sent in like multiple questions, and this will be the case for future Q and A's if you guys if we do any more. Um, like you guys can send in as many questions as you want. You guys can send one if you only have one, eight, seventeen. Huh? Uh, 17, however many you guys want, 100% go for it, um, yeah, uh, and Cross Crease has a few, what's your f favorite video game of all time, I did a video on that, uh, earlier this month, uh, spoiler for those who haven't seen that yet, Soup, <laughs> Soup is my favorite video game, uh, Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2, it's a tie between those, um, I, I guess an ever so slight edge to Mario, to Mario Galaxy 1, just because I played that one earlier, I have a bit more nostalgia for that, I think they're both incredible, really fun, great platformers, but, uh, Mario Galaxy 1 and 2 are absolutely, uh, at the top for my favorite video game of all time, definitely. Number two, what's your favorite reverse retro jersey from this year? God, I don't know. Let me take a look, because I actually forgot what some of the reverse retros look like, let me take a look at them real quick, and I'll get back to you, like, two seconds. All right, upon a quick lookup, uh, probably either Pittsburgh, Montreal, or L.A. Uh, Pittsburgh, love the Robo Penguin. Just a great, great look. Montreal, using the Expos colors, are just mwah, absolutely incredible. Uh, love that. Love the way it looks. And L.A. is honestly just looks incredible. Love the old crown logo. Love what they did with that. I think, I think those three are, are great. 
If I had to rank them, probably in that order. Pittsburgh, Montreal, LA. That's probably how I would rank them if uh, my top three reverse retros. Probably could have actually done that this year, a uh, ranking of all the reverse retros, but we're like three months past the season starting with the reverse retros. Meh. When will you... What will you do when you reach a thousand subs? God, okay. Um, <laughs> somehow I've already reached a thousand by the time this video is out. If that has somehow happened, that'd be really funny. Uh, but what will you do when you reach a thousand subs? I don't know. If we had fiber optic, I'd love to do like a six hour live stream or a 12 hour stream just to like uh, celebrate it. I'd love to do that if we had good Wi Fi that could handle the whole thing because I'd play like some games. Maybe listen to some royalty free music. God, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do when I'll hit a when I hit a thousand subscribers. I don't know. I'd really like to um I'd really like to do something. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll do like a really like a long, long video to to um to celebrate 1K, because God, that would be sick, bro. Just to have look at my name and see Harry Rice 1K subscribers. Or I don't know how they display it now. But that would just be really, really cool. So, yeah. I, I don't have a concrete answer on what, what I'll do when I hit 1,000 subs. I'll probably cry, honestly. <laughs> I'll probably cry because, like, oh, 1,000 subscribers, no way. 1,000 people have liked me enough to hit the subscribe button. So, I don't know. I'll probably do... I'll probably do a thank you video like most YouTubers do. Most big YouTubers do. Uh, no, I'll probably do a thank you video. I'll probably put something on my Discord. I'll probably... Uh, put it in my Twitter bio, <laughs> probably. Thousand plus subs on YouTube, W or something like that, I don't know. Uh, so yeah, I'll, I'll do a lot of stuff when I hit a thousand subs. Uh, most of it will probably be seen by you guys. Uh, number four, why'd you start doing YouTube? This is actually a really, really cool question. Um, I don't know if Cross Crease knows this, or how many of you guys that are subscribed to me now know this. I had uh, a channel that was owned by my sister before that I used to upload videos. She would upload them for me, but I would make the videos or whatever, you know? Uh, it wasn't like a thing where, like, she asked me to make the videos, I would make them, and she'd just put them on her channel because I wasn't old enough to have a channel uh, at that point. But I, I started doing YouTube because uh, I just loved uh, watching stuff like Booger Boy Meister back in the day doing DVD collections and his his little skits. Loved the Angry Video Game Nerd, obviously. I think everybody loves the the Angry Video Game Nerd. The IRA Gamer, for, for me at first, was a big inspiration. I, don't, I, I really liked seeing AVGN and IRA Gamer. The Archfiend, watching him talk about just anything that he wanted to talk about, really. I, I enjoyed that. I, I, I wanted to be like those guys. You know, I wanted to make game reviews and just talk about whatever and have people listen to me really um have complete strangers on the internet listen to me <laughs> no no but it, it just it looked really fun and i wanted to do that i started out with a couple game reviews that just weren't that good <laughs> that weren't all that all that great um i got a couple thousand views or a couple hundred views a couple thousand jesus uh, uploaded, funny enough, an actual AVGN video, the Barbie video, taken from that making of episode, and I got, like, 400,000 views, and, uh, that was probably my crowning achievement right now, having 400,000 views on a video that I don't even own, and had about 700 subscribers on, <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, that's, but yeah, I, I started doing YouTube basically, because I, I thought it was really fun, I wanted to become, uh, someone who people would watch and enjoy their content, I want, I basically wanted to entertain people, I uh, did that on my sister's channel for, I want to say, about five or six years until that account got terminated. 2011, I want to say it was 2017 or 2018 the channel got taken down. I want to say it was one of those years, so actually six, seven years. Then I had, this was my channel, I've had it since 2013. Um, no, not 2013. No, I think because I created a Gmail account, this YouTube got created somehow. So I technically have had it since 2013, but I've been using it since uh, the old since my sister's account got terminated. I forgot why it got terminated, but uh, but yeah, I I used this account um, since about 2017, 2018. I know the Wombo Combo video is my first one on here. I think that was 2018 or 2017. I forget when exactly, but I started using doing that here and. Uh, yeah, I just basically I just want people to, to hear me out and listen to my thoughts and opinions and I appreciate you guys for subscribing to me and 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 uh, looking up and all that and 
you know, checking out whenever I open up, upload a new video. I appreciate that, guys. No matter how many views or likes or dislikes, whatever. Thank you guys for sticking through and listening to my thoughts about the Canadians games. Anything else I might do. Um, yeah, I would like to start talking more about other stuff. We'll see if I get, get up and stop being lazy and pl either play these games or watch these movies, come up with a script of some kind. I'll do it eventually. We'll see. So, yeah, thank you again. Uh, number five, not really a question, I guess, but I'm not half bad at making thumbnails, so maybe I'll send some your way and tell me what you think. I don't know when I'll do it. Anyways, hell yeah, Cross Crease. Uh, anyways, stay safe, Harry. Thank you, Cross Crease. You too, my guy. Definitely, my guy. Send some, send some thumbnails my way. I assume it'd be on Discord. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, just go ahead, send them whenever you, send them whenever you want, my guy. I probably won't use thumbnails for, like, uh, the Hab streams, because I do like that. Uh, crying face or the happy face or whatever. I'm actually I'm wearing the Canadian shirt right now. Actually, um, I, I probably would want to would want thumbnails more so for videos. Um, I'd probably want thumbnails just for videos more more than likely. Like you know, if I'm playing NHL 14, like something like the what I did for that series, which I I will bring that back eventually. I I will bring it back eventually. I just have to find the PlayStation that I was playing it on because it's weird. I have two PS3s. One that is very low gigabytes, so like it's like I have to install like a game at a time. Basically, I can only have a game on there, and then I got a PS3 from a family friend, and that has high usage. So I'm thinking maybe either I restart that series or I just do something on the PS4 because that might be easier. I don't know. We'll see. I've had a a bunch of ideas for NHL gaming content and. I don't know. We'll see eventually if I get to uh, get to any of that. But um, Cross Crease, thank you for the questions, my guy. I appreciate it a lot. All right, and the uh, final comment coming in from uh, YouTube, keep in mind we still have Discord to get to, comes from uh, Bob Cannon. He says, uh, hey, Harry, I have a question. Well, several questions, okay? I have a freaking ton of fucking questions. Let's start with this. What is the meaning of life? Oh, God. Uh... It's, uh, 42. Why 25 days of Harry? Uh, December 1st to 25th, there's a 25 day countdown from the start of December to, uh, the, to the Christmas day. Why not 28 days of Harry and represent the shortest month of the year? Cause we're not February, we're December. I, I do, I would like to do 28 days of February, but I, I mean, February gets already enough love because Valentine's day 30 days, uh, would be nice, but I mean, I don't feel like going insane cause I have to do a whole month of content. 31 days for CP 31. I don't like CP. I, 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 I don't like CP. Uh, it's very illegal and I don't want to, uh, encourage that on my channel so yeah that's why i don't do cp31 like elliot freeman has 32 thoughts one for every nhl team well actually not a bad idea i might do that eventually i mean i do rank i did rank every nhl team so technically i do have my 32 thoughts but uh just not in the way that elliot freeman does that makes sense yes it does i agree last question if a tree falls in the forest and no one's there doesn't make a sound yes it does happy friday but thank you very much bob cannon next comment all right so this one comes in from fazio <laughs> <laughs> One take, baby. Let's go. Uh, Fagio asks, Honking's return. I don't know when Honking Antelope will return, Fagio. Uh, haven't seen him in like a year. He came by uh, a couple times last season. I'm pretty sure it was last season. And we haven't seen him in a long time, so... I mean, I don't know. On one hand, I'm very happy we haven't run into Honking Antelope yet again. But... Well, on the other hand, he was kind of my biggest troll, so it would have been nice to have him around, but you know what, hey, whatever, if, if he doesn't come back, more than fine with me. Uh, next up, uh, Oliver, Oliver, I don't know, he hasn't come by to the, to the streams too often, surprisingly. Oliver asks, what is your ideal burger? Uh, I don't eat hamburgers, but I'd assume if I did, given how fat I am, I'd probably say... Uh, double decker cheeseburger, uh, supreme light, and uh, hold on the extra mayonnaise. Uh, no, but for me, I I would guess probably obviously patty, bun, cheese, lettuce, mustard, uh, patty, uh, pickle, and then a bun. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I was trying to make a burger that sounded really disgusting, and I think I succeeded. And a final question. Comes in from NZA saying, don't hate me for this question. I don't think I'm going to hate you for any question. Uh, but would you rather become one of these teams? Like, uh, I guess, like, become a fan. Uh, Leafs, Lightning, Oilers, Golden Knights. Sorry, I mean Golden Frauds. All right, thank you, NZA, for the question. Um, let's, let's talk this through. All right, so the Leafs choke in the first round. Toxic fan base. Um, I don't think I'd want to... Be a fan, uh, be a play, a fan of theirs. Uh, you know, I'm gonna do this two ways. I'm gonna go be a fan of this team and be a player for these team, for this team. 
So being a player is absolutely out of the question for being... Actually, I don't know. I might become a Leaf fan just to score 70 goals a year and fucking taunt the Leafs fans after every goal. That might actually be really fun. Uh, Lightning have won a couple cups. Almost guaranteed a third one, it seems. It feels like. You would have to take a lot less money, though, if you're a top six guy like I probably would be. And, uh, yeah, you'd have to take a lot less money to play for Tampa. And I want money. Uh, Oilers... They've got McDavid, so that's immediately a no-go. Golden Knights, given how they treat their players, not great. Honestly, if I were to become a player, probably Lightning. Uh, if I were to become a fan, honestly, I'd have to go Leafs just because they need some good fans. And, you know, they, they need a couple fans that that can actually not be toxic and actually, uh, you know, be good, be a good fan. And uh, I think I could be a good fan for the, uh, for the Leafs. So, yeah, I'd be a fan of the Leafs, and I'd be a... Uh, a player for the Tampa Bay Lightning if I was not a uh, rational Habs fan. Uh, so, yeah. Thank you, guys, uh, for all the comments. I believe we are back to... Yes, we are. We're back to Tristan. All right. So, that is... Uh, yeah, that's about 16 minutes. Yeah, I think we can get to the second part of the Q&A tomorrow. Thank you, guys, so much for watching. My name is Harris. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Oh, that one strain of hair. Let's go and see if, see if I can fit it uh, in the frame for the whole video. Thank you, guys, again for watching. My name is Harris. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, favorite channel, which includes, but it's not limited to YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, everything else. My name is Harris. Subscribe if you joined. Hey. Subscribe to the Puff Club. Subscribe to the Club. Subscribe to the Sub Club. Subscribe to the Nation. If you're from the Mall, thank you for watching. Comments and any streams or any videos is much greatly appreciated. Links, description on the Amazon list, the PO box, the PayPal, the Discord, the Twitch, the Letterbox, and the Twitter account are all down there as well. <clears throat> My name is Harris. Again, and I am out. Stay classy, boys. I don't mind out. Always remember, always remember, no matter how bad we were like last year, how good we were like this year. Go up, go baby. Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name is Harris. Again, uh, again, and I am out. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Love you, guys. See you, guys. Bye.